Okay guys, this is uh, day 15, my 75 gallon planted tank setup. My uh, fertilizers just came in the mail and I'm going to show you how that I plan to do my EI dosing. Um, first, um, I'll show you what we're going to be dosing. The first is potassium nitrate. The second is monopotassium phosphate. And the third is magnesium sulfate. Um, my trace, I'm using Plantex CSM plus B. And as you saw up here, I've got little containers, each one of them marked for the five different days of dosing. The ones I have opened here are going to be my uh, macro, which will be these three here. I'll measure each one out at the beginning of the week and put them in these containers. And then as each day comes up, I have an extra one back here that I'm going to put some aquarium water in. I'll dump the contents of each day into, mix it up. I'll probably let it sit a while and then I'll dump it into each, um, I'll dump it into the aquarium each day. Um, and then as you see here, there's five containers, day one through five. Um, this day one will be Monday. Then on Saturday and Sunday, um, it won't have any additions. And then on Monday, I'll do my 50% water change and add okay. number one. So I've got all my uh, fertilizers all measured out here. There's day one, day two, three, four, and five with my mixing container. Now we'll keep these uh, stored below the aquarium. We'll dose them on each day, and then uh, probably on Saturday or Sunday or Monday when I do my water changes, I'll redo and uh, measure everything out for the whole week. Let's go ahead right now and see if I can mix up day one. See if I can get the lid off here one-handed. Aha, uh -huh, I did it. So let's go up here. Mixing container. Some water. Get down. Day one in there. Put the lid on it. Shake it around a little bit, make sure it's all mixed up. Probably let that sit for just a second up here in the light so I can kind of see if it's uh it's mixed. There we finally focused on it. There you go. Um, well, that sits for a second. Let's see if I can get you a shot of my shrimp. There they are. They're actually doing great. There's an auto cat there in the middle. Three of them just hanging out in the grass. Um, come on, focus. There we go. Um, other than, uh, you can see the sprigs of grass that are growing up higher than uh, what I cut them. So they're starting off pretty good, I think. Let's go around here, see if y'all can see. These, uh, these whiter rocks are starting to get a little algae on them, but uh, the auto cats are just going nuts over this stuff and the shrimp are already getting after it too. So I don't really think I'll have a problem there since uh, the shrimp and the autos are both have both found it. Um, as I mentioned a while ago, my, uh, my plants back here are already starting to grow. Those top three leaves that you see on almost every one of them, those are all new. Um, so those are doing really well too. There's two more of my shrimps back here. Two of my females. They're, they're looking really good. An update on my my CO2 reactor, the on uh, 
the second day after I had installed this, I came home and I had a puddle on the floor. Um, this connection right here was barely, barely leaking. And it would run water down the pipe and onto the floor, but uh, we've redone that and it works great now. And my CO2 still running. Um, I've, I've had to adjust this a few times. I think I've got the bubble count like it should be now. It's a little bit more to a, a little bit more difficult to adjust than you might think, but uh, I think we've got it going. But this the CO2 reactor works flawlessly. There's absolutely no bubbles at all ever reach into the tank. It uh, dissolves all the CO2. Let's go back around here. See if this is. Uh, I had to cut away there for a second. It wasn't uh, wasn't all dissolved, but we've got it dissolved now. Little cup, 100%. Um, and we'll dump it in there. Here we go. Over here. Little there. Rinse this out a little. There you go, and we are off. It's the very first day of EI dosing. Hopefully we'll see some amazing growth with uh, CO2 and EI dosing. Um, all of the uh, all the products that I got we were cost me about fifty dollars. That included the shipping and everything. I'm hoping this will last me six months or so, um, but we'll see. Um, Again, if, uh, if you're working on or looking for what your dosing should be, there is a website. I will post the link in the description below. I actually found it off of another YouTuber, but it's been an amazing help. Um, I had looked at form after form after form, trying to find the exact dosing for, for my tank, and... Uh, I know everybody says something different, but I found a calculator that you put in the amount of gallons that you have, whether you're trying to do dry dosing or the liquid dosing in the bottles, um, and it gives you the exact amount in uh, teaspoons or in grams of what you should dose each day. Um, I'll leave you with that. I'll put all that in the description below. If you have any questions, uh, please post them, um, comment, subscribe, and hope you enjoyed the videos. Bye.